The Boeing 747 wasn't just a plane, it was a symbol. For over 50 years, the Queen of the Skies carried passengers, celebrities, and millions of travelers across oceans and continents. But today, the 747 is vanishing from the skies. So, why did airlines retire the most iconic passenger aircraft in history? It all started in the late 1960s. Boeing designed the 747 to meet the growing demand for long distance travel, and they had to do it in style. The 747 could carry over 400 passengers, double the capacity of earlier jets. Its massive range and iconic hump made it instantly recognizable. Pan Am was the first airline to fly it, and soon it became a backbone of global travel. It was just a flying hotel, a luxury cruise in the sky. But as impressive as the 747 was, its size came with a cost. It had four engines, which meant higher fuel capacity and more maintenance. As fuel prices rose, the economy no longer made sense. Newer aircraft like the Boeing 777, Airbus A350, and 787 Dreamliner offered the same range with just two engines, and they burned fuel far less. Then came COVID-19. With global travel nearly shut down, airlines had to make cuts. And the 747? It was just too expensive to keep flying. In the 1990s and the 2000s, aviation rules changed. Twin engine planes were now certified to fly longer hauls, route safety, even over oceans. Aircrafts like the 787 and A350 could reach the same destination but with better fuel efficiency and similar passenger loads. Why fly a half full 747 when a newer jet could do the same job for cheaper? For most airlines, the choice was obvious. And one by one, the 747 was retired. Farewell flights. Even in retirement, the 747 went out with grace. KLM flew a farewell flight across the Netherlands British Airways sent up two of its 747s for a final formation flyover. Qantas drew a kangaroo in the skies with its last 747 flight path. Spotters and fans filled airport fences to say goodbye. The Queen of the Skies got the tribute she deserved. Where are they now? The 747 isn't completely gone. The 747-8 still flies mostly as a freighter for airlines, and two 747s are being modified to become the next Air Force One. But for passenger travel, terrain is over. Most now sit in deserts or museums, reminders of the golden age of flying. The Queen of the Skies redefined what travel could be. She was fast, massive, elegant, and unforgettable. She may be gone from our airports, but she'll always fly high in the hearts of aviation fans. If you've ever flown on a 747, tell us your story in the comments. Like and subscribe for more aviation videos from the sky.